Hey guys, I'm Roger Dodger Gaming, and I'm your coach for the Sin City Squirtles. Today we are here for our week one matchup of my draft league, and I'm really excited to get started, so let's get into it. These are the opponent, my opponent's Pokemon I do not anticipate him bringing. His Heat Ran, I just don't think it has a great matchup. My Toxapex can stall it, and I don't think I have things that have like Flash Fire. So I don't anticipate him bringing it. Savali, I think, is a very hit or miss mon. It, he could bring it with a few different types, but I think I have ways of countering it, and he has to be very specific what type he wants to bring. I think he could bring Ludi Loco, but I have a Vanillix that absolutely destroys it, as well as um, my Zara Aura. So I think he has to be very cautious of that. He has his Rhyperior. I don't think he's going to bring it, just because he has like a majority rain team, and I don't think it's great on that, because my Toxapex again can do a tremendous amount of damage in return and under uh, rain. He his um, alone Persian could be brought as like a defensive pivot user, but I don't. I think he has more offensive options that are better and. Same thing with his Magneton. I'm somewhat weak to Electric, but I think he has some better options on his team for an Electric type. So this is the team I anticipate him bringing. His Dracovish, he drafted first pick. You you bring Dracovish. It's an incredibly good Mon, especially under Rain. So you, you bring Dracovish. His Zapdos, I think, is a way better Electric type than his Magneton. And... It can get access to things like Hurricane in Rain and stuff that just make it incredibly, as well as Thunder, which can make an incredible threat. I think Whimsicott pairs nicely with his Dracovish as it gets access to Tailwind and the Prankster ability. So we can go Prankster Tailwind and help set up speed for him. Uh, I think he needs to bring his Pelipper to set up the Rain. And I think trying to do maybe... Something with his Toxicroak in Rain. It gets the, I believe, Dry Skin ability, which is paired nicely with the Rain. And I also think he'll probably bring Shuckle as a Sticky Web user. Just you want to make things as slow as possible for Dracovish just to absolutely sweep. And especially in Rain, he'll have a boost in power for his Vicious Run. And I think that's basically his best strategy against me is to just set up as many hazards and stuff for his Dracovish and try to sweep me with it. These are the mons I'm not bringing. I am not bringing my Skarmory. I thought it was okay this week, but he had things that were good against it, and just Dracovish is a huge problem, so I need to try prepping as much for that. Pangoro I thought was okay as well, but he didn't do as much as I would like. Aromatisse is just not a great fairy against Dracovish, as his Ficious Ren is just absolutely incredibly damaging. Same thing with my two fire types. I didn't bring it because Dracovish is just really a big threat, and his team is very good against fire. So I didn't think that was the way to go, and I did not bring my Bear Tick, as I just didn't think it was as useful as some other mons I brought. Alright, so my first mod is going to be my first pick overall, Zara Aura, Rocking's Life Orb. Plasma Fist is incredible for things like his Pelipper, his Dracovish, and just overall, along with a Volt Switch, helps me get as much damage off as possible. Blaze Kick is there for his Whimsicott. It allows me to do that in close combat. It's just great stab overall and coverage. Uh, our next mon is going to be our Toxapex. So our Toxapex is hopefully there to live some of Dracovish's attacks. This is going to be my switching for my his Dracovish. I am max speed, and, or not max speed, sorry, max HP and special defense. So this also allows me to live some other things. I didn't go max defense because I thought it lived his hits all right on its own, and I can go for like... A Scald potentially burning it, or I can go for an Ice Beam and try to just do as much damage as possible. I'm bold, which is good, and yeah. Uh, Tangrowth also helps me with Dracovish. With being able to shoot off Giga Drains, I have Poison Jab, again, 
for his Whimsicott. I think that's a big deal. Knockoff is just great to get rid of some of the items. If I'm in with my Tangrowth and he switches, I can go for Knockoff, knocking off some of the items. I have Earthquake there for his Heat Ran. I probably won't stand, but if I predict he's going to go for Heat Ran, I can go for the Earthquake and potentially knock it out. So I think it's overall great. And having the Rocky Helmet there helps with Trickovish because I'm getting more damage off on it. And also, Giga Drain helps me regain some health and just try to stay in the game as long as possible. So this is also there for the Dracovish, just to try to <laughs> mitigate that problem. Uh, Vanillix is absolutely incredible this week. I am running a fast Vanillix. His team, he has three Mons on his team that are four times a week to Ice. Uh, well, being Freeze Dry. Freeze Dry absolutely destroys Dracovish. Absolutely destroys his Ludiloco and absolutely destroys his um, Pelipper. That That's just amazing. This Mon can be a huge threat. So if he brings those Mons, this is a switch I should be faster. If they're not in rain and have, or if like Ludiloco's not in rain and stuff, so he doesn't have the Swift Swim. But this is just an incredible Mon. I can also set up Aurora Veil to help my other teammates. And I think it's just a great Mon and great Bring this week. Noivern, this is a my like saving grace for this thing. I have Hurricane for the rain, because I'll be able to hit that. That does a tremendous amount to his Whimsicott. So I have the set. I'm Choice Scarfed, Modest, with max speed. I am able to outspeed Dracovish in Tailwind. So I can switch into this. If he kills one of my mons, switch into this. Go for the Draco Meteor and one shot Dracovish. This is what this mon's here for. It does tremendous amounts of damage with the modest uh, nature. And Draco, Draco Meteor just is an incredible move. And Hurricane can do tremendous if he expects me to switch because of his vanilla, or not vanilla, his Whimsicott. I can hit him with a Hurricane and do tremendous amount of damage to him. Our final mon is Golurk. Uh, our team is very weak to electric, so I want to make sure I have a ground type here, and I can do incredible things with this. I have Thunder Punch for Pelipper. I have Earthquake for the his fire type, and Poltergeist is just an incredible move. It does amazing amounts of damage, and Stealth Rock just to get a little bit more chip. So I think this is definitely a team worth bringing. And I think this mon could be really key in the end game and how things play out. I think I'm probably going to lead it, depending on how his team uh, make that. But let's get into the battle. All right, so my opponent brings the team I expected. I'm going to lead my Golurk. He, he he's probably going to lead Shuckle, to be honest, just to get up webs or whatever. So I can go for the Poltergeist and just try to chuck him for as much damage as possible. He has the Rocky Helmet, which is good to know. For future, he just sets up the Sticky Web. That's not a big deal. My key is to this game is going to be Noivern, so I'm going to go right into it. And I will be able to defog those away. He can go for his Stealth Rocks. That's not a big deal. I can just go for the defog and take advantage of that. He might go for like infestation or something minor, but that's not anything too big of a deal. And he has he he goes for the encore, so he encores me into defog. That's not a big deal. Uh, I can switch right back into my Golurk. He's probably gonna just go for the sticky web maybe, or he can switch out. He just goes for the sticky web again. I can just go for another poltergeist here and try to get as much damage off as him on him as possible. And another Poltergeist looks like it'll kill him. So, and throughout the match, he actually has Toxic, so that's going to whittle down my Toth. And I'm going to just go for the Poltergeist. As I think, he goes into Pelipper, actually. So that's fine. He's going to have to take a Poltergeist, and that's going to hurt. I do a lot of damage to him, which is great. I can switch out into my Toxapex, or I can switch out into my Tangro. Both handle this thing fairly well. 
I choose to go Tangrowth. The only problem is he could have Hurricane, which could be very... Actually, he has Tailwind on this, so that's something I need to watch out for. Because that uh, doubles my opponent's speed. So I can easily just go for a Giga Drain. I'm going to go over to Toxapex, though. Anticipating him to potentially... I'm scouting right now for the Hurricane. He just goes straight for a U-turn. That's not a big deal. I anticipate him probably going into his... He goes Zapdos on my Toxapex, which is a good play on him. I Now I have a hard uh, decision to make. If he goes for an electric move, Zeraor is great. He just goes for the Hurricane, which is fine. He gets the Confusion. Hurricane is 100% accurate in rain, so that's something to keep in mind, and I get hit in confusion, which really sucks, because getting some damage on the Zapdos could be very good. I'm going to get some Black Sludge recovery, which is nice, but I still need to do, he hits another Hurricane, and he is Life Ward, so that's something to keep in mind. I am able to get the recover off, which is great. He can go for, I'm just basically stalling out his Tailwind turns at the moment. Because his Zapdos under Tailwind is incredibly good against me. Uh, he just goes for the Thunder and kills my Toxapex, which is fine. I can go into my... What do I want to go into? Zara Aura is okay here. Vanillux is good because he's also weak to um, Ice. And I can live any hit he goes for. He goes for the Volt Switch, which is fine. I am going to go for a nice Ice-type move here. And uh, something's going to not want to take this. So he goes into his Fighting-type, which is fine. I am able to get a Blizzard off and do tremendous amounts of damage to him. And I can also just... I believe I outspeed this with Scarf, even though I'm minus speed right now. But I'm going to elect to go into my Golurk just to uh, stop him from Drain Punching and getting any health back. Or Mach Punching in case he decides to do that. I don't think this thing gets Mach Punch actually. But yeah, I can just hit, use Golurk and I survive whatever hit he wants to go for. Or he kills me and he dies to hail, depending on what, if he has Knock Up or something. So I can just go for the Poltergeist here, which should be fine. Or Stealth Rocks. Stealth Rocks are good because he's going to kill his Toxic Croak on entry now. And I might even kill a Shuckle. I think it does 12%. So that's good. That also allows me to get some more damage on some of his other mons. And I am just able to pick off his Shuckle right here with my Poltergeist. So that's great. I believe I died to Toxic. Am I right? Toxic and Hail should kill me. Yeah. So I can go into my, I have a few options here. Noivern's a decent option, allowing me to potentially defog. Or, depending on what he wants to go for, I can just, he goes his Whimsicott. So Hurricane's 70% accurate, so I may just switch here. I don't know if I want to, yeah, I don't want to take a thing. He probably can just go for a Moonblast here, or if he wants to set up Tailwind again. He can do that with his thing. He just elects to go for the Moon Blast. That's not a big deal. I can go for the Poison Jab and knock this thing out, as it's four times a week to poison. He can decide... He might switch, fearing that. Yeah, he just decides to kill his Toxic Croak and Scout for the uh, Poison move. So, he's going to see that I have Poison Jab. That's not a big deal. And he still has his Rain Core. So he's going to lead his Pelipper. I can just go straight for the Giga Drain. He may elect to switch. Just straight. He goes for the Tailwind to set up his Dracovish and Zapdos. I'm going to kill this thing with my Giga Drain. Get a little bit more health back, which could be helpful for his Draco. Uh, I do not, unfortunately, live a hit depending on... Well, it depends on his set, I believe. But in Rain, it's very hard for anything to live Dracovish. So I am I think my best bet is to sack my Mon here, let him kill it, and I can go straight into my Noivern and hit it with a D 
Dracovish, or not a Dracovish, a Draco Meteor, rather. Which is great for me. He is Choice Banded, so I know I outspeed him. Which is good, and I can just go for the Draco Meteor, one-shotting him. He can go into his Whimsicott if he wants to. Uh, he still has his Electro-type, so he's probably going to go into that. And he still has Rain Up, which is good for him. Uh, I am looking okay right now. I forget he has Tailwind up here, and I just lose to his Hurricane, which is unfortunate. I can go into my Zeraora here, and should be able to take any hit he has, and he loses his Tailwind, which is good. So I have a full health Zeraora. I am slower, unfortunately, than him, I believe. But I should, yeah, he has Weather Ball, which does a tremendous amount of damage. And I should be able to pick him off with a Volt Switch. That was probably a misplay in retrospect. Because I had, I had a Fire Move for his Whimsicott. But I figured I would be able to switch out into my Vanillax and be able to kill him potentially and get the chip damage on his... Whimsicott, so depending on what set he, I don't know if he's max speed or not, but we have a chance to outspeed here, and if we do, we one shot with Blizzard. We do outspeed, and then we're going to pick up a 2-0 against my opponent. I thought this was a very good match. Uh, I'm not thrilled with how I played, but there's more improvement to be made for next week, and maybe I'll make some changes to my team a little bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.